Sometimes in math you're going to see the word ratio, and ratio is just another word for fraction. To be honest, you can use them almost interchangeably. It'll make sense in your Algebra 1 course if you treat ratios the same way you treat fractions, with one tiny exception. There's lots of different ways to write a ratio. Let's say we're talking about the fraction 1 half. That's called a fraction. It's also called a ratio. I could also write it like this, 1 with this colon thing, two dots, and then two. Those are equivalent ratios. I could also write it using the word two, one to two. These are all three different ratios that represent the same idea. And an idea you might express with the ratio oftentimes has to do with how many people or how many of some item there are. For example, you could say, for every one girl in the class, there were two guys, yeah. You would say the ratio of girls to guys was one to two. And for girls, that's a good thing, right? Because you have one girl, you have two guys. For every one girl, there's two you get to choose from. So that's one place that ratios show up in the real world. You see it really often in schools when they talk about student to faculty ratio, especially when you're applying to colleges, you'll see things like the student to faculty ratio is one to nine. Wait, other way around. It would be nine to one. Nine students for every one teacher. Or it might be 12 to one. And that affects some things like class size. So keep that in mind if you're moving through your algebra course and also when you look into choosing colleges in your future.